Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just wanted to say a real quick hello, basically, to let you know. I am moving on Monday, so I'm probably not going to be doing much online tomorrow or Monday. <laughs> Maybe not even Tuesday. But I do have um, <clears throat> a request to redo my video uh, well, my message from the Lord about the two raptures. So that that is something I want to work on with scriptures to do do it better. Um, which the last one I did, I included several of the scriptures that I had been led to. So I want to do that again. I don't want to just read the message, you know, from my journal. I want to include some scriptures. Also, I've been sent in my email um, some videos to look over about a man who, I, I listened to two of them, and I'm not sure if he's saying he was told this by the Lord, or he discovered it through scripture, which the Lord can reveal anything from the scriptures also. That is another way he talks to us. He believes in three raptures. The barley, which very few go in. The multitude, too large to number. He believes both be this year. And I am I want to check him out a little bit more. He's a little hard to understand, but he's, he's saying things in agreement with what I got. So, somehow I'm, it may be a two-parter, but that'll be coming up. And I wanted you just to know that, um, well, be praying for me. How about that? <laughs> this will be the first move I've ever made without my family. <laughs> and I have one lady coming to help Monday and my friend my dear friend who's also moving from one room to the apartment across the hall so she's busy unpacking and trying to find things and things are really askew in her place and she's wanting to come help me pack tomorrow so you pray for us she's in a power wheelchair herself so uh, bless her heart she wants to help me and um that's it that's my help <laughs> i just keep saying i can do all things through christ who strengthens me i got all the laundry done today so tomorrow i'm gonna pack and move some stuff up that i that i'm able to hey i rescued that little beautiful table that five-sided table in the corner from two blocks away flipped it upside down on my lap and brought it home got it up here and in my apartment so i'm sure i can do things like that <laughs> so i'm pretty resourceful with my little power wheelchair <laughs> so anyway i just wanted to say that and that you all will be in my prayers i won't i i won't neg neglect my prayer time um i just pr may not be able to do much computer time so um emails and comments i don't know about <laughs> i'm just saying um uh, i do want to say i've been praying and i've been just fasting this week and the only reason i'm telling you is because i want you to understand how powerful it is all i've given up was sweetener in my coffee and this one show I let myself watch, I just did without it, and because it's not, uh, it's not bad, but it's not feeding me either. So I thought I will. That's worldly. I'll give that up. And my, and I keep <laughs> saying, I say, Lord, I hope you appreciate how much I miss my coffee with sugar. <laughs> And I'm, I'm sure he does. <laughs> you know, I don't need to tell him that. But you see, 
I've been praying in the spirit more than ever in the last couple days, just out of the blue, and I'm praying. And I know I'm praying for your prayer requests, and who knows? The Holy Spirit prays for things we know not of. So maybe I'm praying for you to receive the Holy Spirit. I don't know. But I just wanted y'all to know that. So it's uh, getting late. I'm just going to say I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you, over myself, our computers, or devices, and our internet connections, so we can stay connected until we're gone. And I just, you know, from, I don't know, I, I just feel like from what I have been watching and course I've said this before it just seems like it it has to be soon this the, the video I was sent this man I never heard of he was doing a short rendition of the um Oh, that CGI with presidents. It's like nine minutes, and there's an Antichrist in it. Oh, come on. Exalted Lamb One has done it. See, I'm tired. I can't remember the name of it. I pet goat, too. That's it. And he shows a scene where the girl, Alice in Wonderland, is supposed to be who she is. She's sitting there dressed in white. And she's looking sad. When the exit light goes on, it's between March and April. And and then she drops the apple, and it rolls, and it divides. And anyway, he gives his take on it. And I'd never heard of this guy before. And I do want to share what he has to say, but... As with the other fellas who's done work on this, you know, it's your, they are relying on what the powers that be who put that together, what their plans are, what they, and probably Satan is involved thinking how it's going to be, how it's going to end up, but Again, this like this man that I just listened to today said, he said, this is their plans. And this is what they expect is going to happen. And this is what they want to happen. But in the end, we all know it's God's plans that will come to fruition. So no matter what we think or want, or the powers that be are trying to pull off. Whether it's with this virus. Or whether it's with weather warfare. Or whether it's with the economy. Um, it doesn't matter what they're doing. What they're trying to do. What they want to happen. What they believe is going to happen. It's all on our Father. It's His will be done. That's why we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. See, we don't have to worry about food. He will feed us. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our sins, Father, as we forgive those who sin against us. There's that for asking forgiveness and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. One of these days soon, we'll be in that forever and ever part. 
will be with Abba and our Lord Jesus, and all your worries and sorrows will be over. And even if you don't have any to speak of, but you love Jesus so much you still want to be with him, I think those are the people that will... You see, there's so many people who aren't ready to go because they have a good life. They have a nice home. They have family that love them. They have decent health. They have beautiful grandchildren to play with and have good times with. And they want to see them grow up. But they let all that distract them so they don't love Jesus most. But those of you with good lives still love Jesus most? I think you have one up on everybody. And I, I just feel that way. And you're about to be so blessed. We all are. Those of us who are found worthy to escape. All these things that are to come to pass. And to stand before the Son of Man. Luke 21, 36. You keep remembering that. And Psalm 91. And any other of the Psalms that bring you comfort. Don't fear for anything. Because our God is greater than any virus or any weather warfare, any storm. You tell that storm to go that way. Don't even think about touching my house in the name of Jesus. You take command. Okay? With God in us, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world, or things that are in the world. Well, I've talked longer than I meant to, so I'm going to say bye for now. I'll talk to you again in a day or two, probably two or three, <laughs> to be honest. All right, bye-bye for now. I'll see you again soon.